it is Margaret and welcome to my channel Texas Gal Treasures. In this video I'm going to be talking about mugs, why I still like to sell them and what you should look for when you're out there looking for mugs. So I have done a few videos in the past about mugs and I'll link them here. One is how I ship mugs and then the other one is just my whole process from start to finish and uh, shipping mugs and buying mugs and selling mugs and how I list them etc etc. So if you're interested in those videos they will be linked here as well. Also, if you're checking this video out and you're wondering what happened to the original, I was live, I did this video live, and the first part of it, we had a lightning storm and the power went out. And so I'm reshooting the beginning parts. Also, if you're new here and you would like to hit that subscribe button, we'd love to have you subscribe. And if you're interested in catching live videos so you can hang out in the chat, talk to people and ask questions as I go along, um, hit the bell next to the subscribe button because we'd love to have you, love to get to know you in the chat as well. All right, so without further ado, let's talk mugs. So as you guys know, last year I started paring things down, trying to sell smalls. But one of the things that I really didn't want to get rid of was my mugs. The reason is I can make a really good profit selling mugs and not just any mug. You don't just want to go pick up any mug or every mug that you see in the thrift store or at garage sales. You need to be a little bit selective, but generally I can make a 10 or more dollar profit on a mug depending on what it is. So I'm going to share some of those mugs with you today. I don't personally spend more than a dollar on a mug unless it's something really amazing. Um, so usually it's about 25 cents. My local charity shop and thrift stores, a lot of them sell for a quarter. Um, Goodwill, 49 cents, 79 cents, 99 cents, sometimes a little bit more than that. But like I said, unless it's something I really think I can do well on, I won't spend more than a dollar on them. Okay, so here we go. Let's take a look at what I've pulled up. Uh, I'm going to share some sales that I made on eBay and Etsy. I'm also going to pull up um, some recent eBay solds to kind of take a look at what's been selling now on eBay. Hello, hi everybody. It is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. I thought I would come on today and talk a little bit about mugs. This is something I haven't talked about in a while, but it's still something that I like to pick up to resell. And I'm going to link two videos that I've done in the past about mugs. Let me show you, well, I'll show you what they're called and then I'll link them later. I'll put them up here wherever they go. Um, but one of them, because these are questions I get a lot, one of them is a video talking about how I ship mugs. And then another video I, I shared a while back, uh, my process for mugs, like how I start to finish and all that good stuff. So I'll make sure I link those for you guys to check out if you're interested. Um, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about why I still sell mugs. I know there are people um, in the reselling world going back and forth about whether they like mugs or don't like mugs. I mean, I guess it's always been that way. But personally, um, even when I was scaling back things a while, you know, last year to just kind of lean more towards jewelry, my mugs were something I could never give up. And the reason for that is the profit that you can make from selling mugs. So another thing that comes up frequently is like, well, what kind of mugs should I buy? I'm buying all these mugs and they're just garbage. Nobody buys them, nobody wants them, whatever. So I thought I would share some of my sold on mugs, um, just like my random mugs, some of my best salt selling mugs, and then we will take a look at, well, what's selling now um, in mugs on eBay? So you can kind of get an idea of what kind of prices that you can get for some of these mugs. You might be surprised. Um, generally, when I buy a mug, there's a thrift store near me that sells them for a quarter. It's the local charity shop sells them for a quarter. Um, sometimes when I go to Goodwill, they'll be 49 cents, 79 cents, 99 cents every now and then, a buck or two. But it would have to be really special for me to spend that much which is one of the reasons, because <laughs> I like them cheap, um, one of the reasons I love it because the margin for profit is so much greater. Um, also, the video where I share how I ship my mugs, I'll have to go back and preview it. Um, basically, if it fits in a, I have a six by four by four box, put it in that, seal it up, and then stick that box into a padded flat rate mailer because then it'll go for like seven bucks, you know. So it's really super easy. Um, Jason T. Smith also has a video where he, he does something different, it's called FOMO, it's kind of similar. Basically, it, it ends up in a padded flat rate uh, mailer with cardboard wrapped around it. So I've never had problems with my post office 
um, giving me trouble with, you know, the padded flat rate being three dimensional and not flat. Um, I've heard some people have had this issue, but my post office has never given me a problem about it ever. So that's generally how I do it. If I have a bigger mug, I make sure that I charge more for shipping. Like uh, you'll see one in a second that was a bit taller. So you have to really um, keep that in mind and make sure you have a box for it and all that because it won't go into a padded flat rate. Okay, I am live, so I'm going to say hey over in the chat. Let me pop the chat up real fast and just say hi. If you're watching later and you're wanting to catch a live one, hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it, and you can come hang out. Um, yeah, there you go. Hey, Maggie. Hey, Julie. Hello, hello. Yes, I see you. I just wanted to get, like, my, you know how I get so distracted when I start talking to everybody. So I was like, let me get my big spiel out at the beginning, and then we'll chat. Okay. Hey, Donna and Thrifty Chick. Hi, Kylie and Tipstress. Hello, Leslie and John and JD and Kaylee. Alexander, 225 at my Goodwill. Youch. Another place to look would be like garage sales. A lot of times people are just like, get these mugs out of here. Just, I don't want them. I mean, so yeah, they're out. So let's see. Kaylee says, I found a Hello Kitty mug at a yard sale for $2 and sold it for 20 bucks. Yes, totally. Well, I mean, wait till you see some of the prices you can get for mugs. Honestly, that's one of the reasons I just, I, I have to keep buying them. I still buy them if I find good ones. Okay, so let me scoot you this up. Yeah, isn't that awesome? So these are some mugs. Now, again, I'm sharing my Etsy page because on eBay, the mugs that are past, I think, 90 days is how far they, they keep records back, you know, solds and stuff. So on Etsy, because I cross post most things where I can, I can see what sold on eBay because they will be inactive. So sold out on Etsy is sold on Etsy. Inactive if on my Etsy means that it was taken off uh, because I, I deactivated. Anyway, so most Robin Ruth, so most have really dropped off for me. They have to be special for me to pick up. Yeah, and that this is true. I do try to make sure I'm not just picking up any kind of mug, um, but there are some that I definitely suggest you keep your eyes out for. All right, so these are the ones that sold on eBay for me, um, you know, this year, last year. Um, so the first one, and I have them sorted from highest price to lowest price, is this Emma Bridgewater one, $76.99. So, hang on, let me pop that up so you can see. This is a really fancy schmancy brand, and I wanted to show it to you so you get a good idea of what to look for. So this is the mug, and it sold for a lot of money. Um, so here we have a happiness comes in a mug, blah, blah, blah. But the important thing, let's see if I got, here we go, Toast and Marmalade, Emma Bridgewater. So if you see that brand, it's definitely worth taking a look on your phone, you know, pull up eBay, take a look at what's out there uh, for Emma Bridgewater, Toast and Marmalade. So this is one of my top selling mugs of all times. So definitely keep an eye out for Emma Bridgewater. So there's that. Um, this is another one that sold. Uh, I forgot to pop these previews up. So this is a shaving mug. So this one, 35 bucks. Um, not strictly, no. <laughs> hello, hello, everybody. Um, so this is a shaving mug. So if you see a mug that's got like this weird, looks like an insert or something in it, and like this would be for, wait, no, is this a shaving mug or is this a, there's different mugs. There's like a mustache mug where so they don't get the, when they drink, they don't get like their their waxed mustache messed up, you know? And then there's like a shaving mug, shaving mug. So anyway, I this is an older listing, so I didn't have as much in it. So here's that. Uh, so this one sold for $34.99. This is one that my grandmother had. So, um, oh, hey, Nick and Andrea. He's and Nick saying, yeah, they, Emma Bridgewater. Hang on, let me see if I can scooch this to be more condensed. There we go. That's better. Uh, sells well in the UK too. Um, as far as Etsy, Etsy you can sell supplies, vintage, handmade, print on demand, digital downloads. There's quite a bit. Um, no, I mean, no. Okay, so next up, Kaylee says, when I buy a mug, I look to see if there's any cracks on it before I buy you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it needs to be in good it needs to be in good shape. You can sell t-shirts on Etsy if you, oh yeah, totally, yeah. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so this is another mug that sold really well for me, and it's Edward Gorey. I mean, basically, if you see, there's a huge, Edward Gorey has a huge following, and if you're not familiar with his artwork, this is his style. So this is Metropolitan Opera, Edward Gorey, 
you know, illustration basically on their artwork. And let's see, was there any marking on there? But there must not have been a marking on the bottom. But just because of the the art and who it is, Edward Gorey um, sold for $29.99. Very, very cool. So keep an eye out for that. Um, Etsy's changes make me, yeah, I mean, eh, I hear what you're saying, but it's just like, Say la vie, right? It's going to happen. Change is inevitable, unfortunately. But I do, I mean, it is changing the landscape of things for sure. Okay, so another thing to look out for, basically with mugs, I like to think about it as a way of as a person expressing their individuality. Like, this is what makes me special. This is what makes me me. Um, and so... Taurus, like I'm a Taurus, so but I still sold this mug. So this is a Taurus mug. It was a kind of a taller mug, but this is a mug that sold. And generally, like I said, don't spend more than a dollar. It's usually a dollar or less on mugs, unless it's something really cool. So keep that in mind. Let's see. Oh yeah, still the place for him. Oh yeah, for sure. And I think too, you'll see in a sec. So this is my Etsy. The, those are just some of the the mugs I wanted to share share with you guys, but. If you look over here um, where it says sold out and inactive, you can see sold out. I have 54, okay, pancake. I have 54 mugs that were sold on Etsy and 22 that I had on e Now, this is the ones that were posted on both sides, okay? Because some of them, if they weren't, if I didn't feel like they were vintage or know that they were vintage, then they went just on eBay. So my mugs sell, tend to sell better on Etsy. Etsy because people tend to go there looking for unusual gifts or something more one-of-a-kind so I think that's probably the reason so that being said um, I sorted these from my highest to lowest price mugs and I'll I pulled some of these tabs up to share with you so you can kind of get an idea of what I picked up and what I sold ah I could have sworn I did all these hang on let me pop the, the preview up so you can see I, I thought I did all my work. All right, now this was a total fluke that <laughs> uh, this, when I picked up this mug, it's just like some steins do well and some steins don't do well. Just that, that being said, this stein just so happened to do well. So it sold for 125 bucks. It's worth looking at steins, especially if you get them for cheap. It's it's worth looking at them, definitely. So this is and this is an older listing too. So it kind of makes me wonder if I could have gotten more, you know. All right, so there's that, and I don't sell a ton of steins because, like I say, some of them, some of them sell for great money, and some of them are like me, eh, whatever, not so much. Oh, here we go again. Apologies, y'all. I really thought I did all this. Okay, so here's another one. This one's got a B on it. This one sold for $37.99. And it's just a simple bumblebee. Um, I don't think the brand was anything super special, but there are bee people out there, my sister being one of them. I sold this mug before she got into bees, so if you're watching later, Elaine, you weren't into bees yet when I sold this mug. So just a simple bumblebee, $37.99. Again, it's something that someone feels it'll bring back nostalgia or something that they identify with or would make a good gift. Um, and this is a friend's mug from the show, it's The Friends. Um, this sold for $29.99. And again, it's just, I guess a fan would have done this? Yes, Kaylee, I have. And that, that's actually one of the things that's gonna be coming up too, the Disney um, and character mugs. That's something else that I that I like to keep an eye out for. Oh, look, <laughs> here we go. We go, it's not Disney, it's Warner Brothers. But here's a Daffy Duck. So this has got, this has got twofold. So this is for people who like Daffy Duck, you know, Bugs Bunny, but also for golfers. So I, that's another good, when you find something that integrates both, so you can hit two fan bases, basically, or niches, um, that's a good a good sign there. So I got this, and this was a big mug, too. It was like, a, I don't know, it held a lot more than a regular mug. So this one sold for $29.99. And again, generally, I spend a dollar or less. And I wanted to pop this up, too. Let's see if I have it over here. Just so you kind of get an idea if you're not really into selling mugs. So let's sell, say I sold a mug for $14.99. I mean, that's pretty reasonable. And that's kind of standard. You know, some of my mugs that I'm showing you are like really expensive mugs um, that went for a lot of money. But, you know, standard $14.99. 
generally I don't go under $9.99 unless I'm trying to really get rid of some things, you know. But generally when I buy a mug, I want it to I, I need to feel like I can sell this for $14.99 or more, you know, because I want to get a certain amount of profit. So I'm just estimating a pad of flat rates about seven seven dollars and ten cents. So seven seven cost is a dollar, usually less. eBay store, yes, uh, top rated seller. I just left it on no in case you're not. So uh, let's click yes, and then we'll click back to no. So you're looking at an eleven dollar profit for something if you spent a dollar. Now let's say you spent a quarter on it, you know, then your profit goes up a little bit more, closer to twelve dollars. Which when you look at it that way, you're like, wow, that's that's a pretty good profit. Okay, so get back to where we were. Um, uh, or, 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 or did I close that out? Okay, so next again, there we go. Now I sold this big hug mug after the big the big craze, but I still got thirty bucks for it. But there was a time there where people were getting insane money for these because it was in that show. Somebody's gonna have to correct me. I know Matthew McConaughey was in it. American. Hey, what was that show? Matthew McConaughey, it was called American Detectives, True Detectives, something Detectives, I don't know, never mind, I thought you might know, um, True Crime, True Detectives, American Detectives, anyway, you know where I'm going with that, if you if you know what I'm talking about, so, um, yes, Kaylee, gosh, you're, you're like reading my mind, <laughs> yes, so, um, also, keep an eye out for trending things, because I think he used this big hug mic in the show, so people were wanting, they were fans of the show, they wanted this big hug mug, right? So mine ended up selling, and at first I was like, darn, it's after the big craze, but it still sold for 30 bucks, you know? True Detectives, thanks, 3D Chick. I never watched it. So, but yeah. <laughs> so this one is a far side mug, uh, and it, you know, it would be helpful if y'all saw more of this instead of the, the menu on the side, right? Let's see if I can scoochie it over some more. There we go. All right, so this is Far Side. This is another one. Again, it's got a big fan base. You know, they're funny. So this one sold for $28.99, and it's got this guy. He's working on the missile. This guy's going to pop his airbag. And look, and I know there's ways to clean out the mugs now, but when I sold this mug, I didn't. I just disclosed, like, this is what the inside looks like. But there's this stuff you can get, uh, barkeepers friend, bar, bartender's friend, barkeeper's friend. There's some stuff you can get to clean that, clean those like spoon marks out. Um, so yeah, so there's that. And then next up, y'all, I did this in my brain. I finished. All right. So this is another one. That's a really good brand. Hudson and Middleton. Um, and this one has all these transportation bits on it, right? Trains, planes, boats, I mean, there's a double dagger bus on there. It's got it all. So any kind of, yeah, it was awesome. So this one did go for $27.99. So this was a nice mug to sell. Yeah. Okay. I've had good sales with Farside Mugs. Magic erasers work for marks as well. That's good to know. Thank you. Barkeeper's friend. Thank you. Okay. All right. So keep an eye out. Again, this is a hobby thing. You know, people that are passionate about transportation, vehicles, then this might be a mug that someone might be looking for as a gift. So there's that. Oh, here they go. All right, this one is um, Shakespeare's birthplace. So Stratford upon Avon mug. Again, you know Shakespeare fans. This was a smaller mug, but pretty cool. So it sold for twenty six ninety nine. Um, I wouldn't say that all tourist stops would make good mugs to pick up, like. Unless it was a really cool Empire State mug, Empire State Building mug, or a really cool, um, you know, Statue of Liberty mug, y'all, this cat. There it goes. All right, <laughs> Margaret one, cat zero. Um, so yeah, uh, kind of you know keep that in the back of your mind where it's not all tourist type mugs. You've got to kind of take each one with a grain of salt and see is it something that. Is saturated you know it's gonna be something you can find anywhere where did you find all these great mugs I never seen any good ones at thrift stores yeah I find them either at thrift stores there's a charity shop near me that I, that sells them for a quarter a piece um, garage sales yeah so I think the one that Daffy Duck one I think that's the one I probably spent the most on I think I bought that one for two bucks 
I can't find it. Oh, I think I closed out that window by accident. Oopsies. Um, yeah, so that was the one I probably spent the most on. Um, let's see. Does the magic eraser work by taking you tensile marks out completely? I, I'm going to have to try it because I, I, I don't know about that. So, do, do, do. You would have bought that. See, yeah, and I've been, uh, um, I've been there, so it's like I could have kept it, but yeah. Okay, so here we go. So this is one that was in my grandmother's collection. This was a, it's it's got a cup and saucer, but it was it was coffee cup size. So it was really cool. I wish I had done better about getting close ups on the pictures. This was early, early days, but it's got this like sleigh and the coloring. It's kind of hard to tell too. It was like really a magenta, um, kind of leaning towards red, and then the gold. And it's got this person on the sleigh going riding. Anyway. I again could have done way better on the on the pictures on this one, but anyway, it sold for twenty four ninety nine. Um, cats like to test always living on the yeah <laughs> yeah that cat. All right, so here's another one that sold. This is a Hallmark mug, and it says Gramps. The reason I went ahead and got it was because it wasn't Grandpa or Grand. You know, it was more specific. So like we call our grandfather Granddad. So. We would be looking for a cup that said granddad instead of grandpa. So Gramps, you know, somebody might call their grandfather Gramps and they might not find that as often. And so we were like, okay, uh, my thought was Gramps, you know, this might be a good one to sell. And it turned out to be pretty good. So $24.99 for this mug. I actually had somebody message me they that saw that this was sold and said, we used to have a mug just like this. We bought for my gram, gramps, and it broke. Do you have any more of this mug? And I was like, oh, I don't. So, I mean, that tells me that people are looking. So there's that, that thought process. So if you see another one that's like, not just like grandma, but nah, I don't know. Like, what are we, not as many people call, her, call them Nana here, but I don't know, granny, I don't know. So here's one. This is a Mickey Mouse mug um, who says, you have to grow up, Mickey Mouse silhouette. And this is a Hallmark mug as well. So I, I've sold, you know, some of the ones that you'll see I've sold were Disney, Warner Brothers. You know, people have their favorite characters on the shows. Generally, now what I haven't seen is, this is this goes for anything though. Anything that's like Tiana or any of like the African American characters, um, I buy for, if I see anything because you just don't see as much and so the market is there people are looking for that um, with some of the you know Princess and the Frog and some of the other characters that you know you don't see quite as often so that's some that's a tip too I don't have any mugs of that but if I I would buy them in a heartbeat if I saw them so next is this one oh it's the year of the monkey so again just like the Taurus People identify with their zodiac, and so here we have this Year of the Monkey um, mug that sold for $24.99. Here's that one. And then this one just, uh, this one sold recently. It was interesting because it had a weird lip on the inside of it, so I wasn't sure if it was a creamer. Is this a mug? I'm not, not exactly sure. Okay, whatever. It sold for $24.99. Again, people like their farm animals. <laughs> But this was kind of unusual, I thought, you know. So there he is. Um, and then I've got a few more, and then we'll jump over to see what's been selling lately on eBay. Oh, and I have a whole other video I'm going to do on this. Oh, gosh. Okay. So royalty, even though we're in America, royalty sells. My, my granny, before she passed away, you know, she was British, and she she followed the royal family. She followed all the stories. It was just like... Did you see what so-and-so was up to? You know, did you see what Princess Di was doing? Did you see what she wore to blah, 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 you know? And so, you know, on her mantelpiece, she had all this stuff, this stuff. And then this this was in my grandmother's collection. My, not my granny, but my grandmother, who also really identified with the queen a lot. <laughs> she just did. So they were born the same year. So this was one of the golden, what is it, golden jubilee? Or it was for her... Yeah, Golden Jubilee. And so when we saw this, my grandmother was like, oh, I need to buy this. You know, this is, I don't know, she was viewed the queen as like her sister. I don't know, it's strange. But anyway, so royalty stuff doesn't sell here now, Dave says. And, you know, so I have a box full of royalty stuff 
uh, that I was going to go through because some of it is from past kings and things like that. So, I, uh, Dave, I wonder if it's, I wonder if the market is flooded there, right? Isn't it beautiful? It's a beautiful migrate. So this sold for twenty four ninety nine. We bought it. I was with her when she bought it at the uh, British Isle store down in Rice Village. If you're from BC, you know where that is. So, thunder. All right. So next up. I swear I went through. Oh, you know what happened? I had to restart my computer. I bet that's what happened. Okay. Before I started this, I had to restart my computer. So Paddington, all right? Paddington's movie came out. There was a, a, the first Paddington movie, and then now we've got the new Paddington out. Um, but Paddington Bear, and I just sold some Paddington gift wrap. So, again, things like... Okay, sorry about that, you guys. Yeah, my power just went, shoop, and the Wi-Fi went, shoop, and everything went... So hopefully you guys can make it back if you're watching this live. And if you're watching it live or trying to figure out what happened to it, I'm going to pull both videos down and I'll stick them together and I'll put them back up. And that'll make things a lot easier instead of trying to have people looking for two sections of a video. Okay, so without further ado, I can't, I don't know exactly where it zapped out, but I was talking about Paddington. I was talking about how I sold some Paddington wrapping paper. There's a new movie out. Um, this Paddington mug sold, but it, this one probably sold when the first movie came out around that time. But um, that's something to keep in <laughs> keep an eye out for. Yay! Yeah, I lost my power, you guys. Sorry, and it just went everything. We lost it all, so it's back now. Yay! So, um, for example, let's say I had some Jumanji uh, memorabilia or Jumanji things that I could sell, I this would be a good time to get them up because the movie's out. So that's something to, you guys lost me on the gram smug? Oh no, that far back? Really? No, no, no. Yeah, I saw the other thing. Okay, so keep an eye out for trending kids movies as well for things that you might see that are coming out. All right, so hi, thanks for making it back, you guys. Again, I will... Um, compile these two videos together. I'll pull them both down and, and put them together. Make it nicer for people watching later. All right, so um, I think Haley was asking about this earlier. So Odagiri is a mug brand that, that I like to buy and sell. I usually have really good luck with it. Again, if I pick it up for a quarter and sell it for 20 bucks, we're looking at what? How much profit are we looking at? So if I sold an Odagiri mug for $19.99, then we'd be looking at, you know, $15, $16 profit, which is pretty nice. So, Odagiri generally looks like a stoneware. Sometimes it looks like it's kind of carved into it. Uh, and then, you know, I'll see ones that are like this kind of scene. Sometimes there's animals. Sometimes, I don't know. And sometimes it's marked Odagiri like this. Sometimes it's like pressed into the stoneware. I think I've got another one. I have one here. Um, this is another one that, let's see if it was marked Odagiri. Yeah, this is an Odagiri Puffin mug, but this is one of those like travel ones. So this is also, once you re start recognizing that brand, the Odagiri, um, you'll spot it a mile away. So so there's this one. Standard shipping on for mugs. If it's just like a regular mug, I send it in my, uh, padded flat rate. So a little 6 by 4 by 4 box. I use my eBay coupon code for that and stick it in like that. So it's kind of like the FOMO like Jason does, yeah. Um, hello, thanks for coming back, guys. Okay, so, yeah, there's this one. So Odagiri. There was another brand I could have sworn. It starts with a W, and I always, oh, here it is. Good, good, good. I always butcher the name on this one, but it's Wasterbach. Wasterbach, West Germany. It's kind of got that Odagiri look to it where it's kind of like glazed and stoneware, kind of pressed. Um, but wait till you see the bottom you'll, so you can see. Look, this one even had a chip. But there are people that still like this brand. Um, another chip there. Um, so this one, and this is what the mark looks like. Wash, and I know I'm saying it wrong, so sorry, y'all. Washterbach, Washterbach, West Germany. Um, so yeah, this one sold for $17.99. So those are some mugs I've sold. I thought we'd take a look at eBay real quick and see what kind of more current. You know what I didn't? I did sell sell a mug in my just recently, but uh, I'll share it on my next um, sales update. So these are most recent mugs sold, and I do have them listed. I'm just doing buy it now because that's 
what I do. I don't usually do auctions. We might take a peek at what kind of people, like what kind of mug would you put on auction? I don't even know. All right, so these are Kitty Meow. These ones, I guess they sell both of them for $18.99. Um, Disneyland Adventure Tiki Mug, Trader Sam's, 30 bucks. So here's just a polka dot. California Pottery, $14.99. So if you're thinking like, okay, they bought this mug for say a quarter, a buck, then they're looking at a $10 or $11 profit there. So um, I may have answered, do you FOMO or Scotty Box? <clears throat> what I do is I, for regular size mugs, I get a 6x4x4, by four by four, uh, put it in there, you know, bubble wrap in the end of the 6x4x4, by four by four, and then I put that into a, a padded flat rate mailer. So it's kind of like, the FOMO method, but I use a box instead of just a piece of cardboard. So pers that's just personal preference for me. Okay, so um, here's another one, a oh, $1. <laughs> here's a hundred bucks, look, eight vintage man-made, is that like, are they, oh, they're the faces, okay. Um, so here's a Mr. and Mrs. See, I'm generally looking for ones that, that are like $14.99 or above, because then you know you're making at least, you know, $11 profit. But here's a cat. It's meow, meow. Oh, that's a good brand. Danoon. Uh, da um, these are ones like, okay, if you're from Houston, we have a British Isle store. It's called the British Isles. And they have all of these, like, fine bone china mugs and things, and they're really pricey. I bought one for Randy one time that had, like, bikes on it. And uh, Maggie hate shipping breakables. Yeah, I, is that, I mean, I get it. Mugs are... They're breakable, but of the breakables, they're predictable, you know. Um, character ones, yeah. So here we go. A couple John Deere. I mean, that's two of them for that price. So, I mean, that's the little cutie putty mugs. And it's just a, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to, I have another video. I'll have to take them down. Now, this one, Hippity Hop, I saw another one that was that same brand, Ray Dunn. So that's another one to keep a lookout for. It's got like kind of long, tall, skinny lettering. Um, so yeah. Ah. Oh my gosh, I remember that old splice thing. My dad had one of those. <laughs> um, yeah, again, I'm just kind of scrolling through. Here's one, um, Pinocchio mug, $21.99. Sleeping Beauty mugs, $33.99. I mean, that's cool because you're still looking at, they're more than $15 a piece, right? So pretty good. Uh, um, let's do, oh here, <laughs> the Canadian flag A, that's a, still Ray Dunn, so that's another one to look out for. Let me go up real quick before we pop off and do a highest to lowest, because that's always fun to do. Um, price and shipping highest first. I always like to see what's the best selling. Oh, Tiki Mug, then we've got this Tankard, John Wayne, what? Okay, but what's this one? Uh, organic, I don't even know, George E. Orr, okay, occupational barbershop mug, wow, okay, okay, those are just mugs, mugs, you know what, I saw some of these copper mugs, I saw two copper mugs, and I did not pick them up, I should have done it, should have done it, all right, so, I need coffee, that's, I mean, seriously, this can't be right, all right, maybe it's, I don't even know, Occup another occupational shaving mug, so, Starbucks mug, South Island, extremely rare. I don't really do a whole lot with Starbucks mugs anymore. I, I tried for a while, and then they would sit forever for me. Eagles. Do we really think somebody spent a thousand bucks on this mug? That's surprising. Um, do you ever look for mugs that you put your drinks and, and cookies on? If I saw one, I would pick it up. I've never seen one, though. Like one that would hold your cookie on the side, right? North Island. Yeah, some of these mugs, I'm like, I don't know. Did somebody really pay a thousand bucks for a mug? I mean, some of them I get, like Trader, like this one, that's a tiki mug. Yeah, there are, people, there are crazy tiki people out there. I'm not going to name any names, Jason. But there are crazy tiki people that will spend that kind of money on these mugs. Um. Okay, I'm just scrolling through real quick to see if I see any that look like, okay, that's something to keep an eye out for. Okay, blah, blah, blah. These are some more tiki mugs. They just look like little pumpkin heads or something, but yeah. Tiki mugs. I rarely find tiki mugs. The Beatles, Royal Dalton, Trader Sam's. Okay, I think that we're just going to see tiki mugs. Scrolly, scrolly, scrolling. Yeah, okay. One more peek, and then that's it. Look, that looks similar to the one I sold. 
Oh my gosh. And look what they sold it for. <laughs> okay. No comment. Keep scrolling, Margaret. Don't look back. Yeah, well, here's some characters, definitely. Um, black diamond mugs. Okay. Disney princess mugs. Here's a Tokyo. Wacky woolies. All right. Okay. All right. So just, you know, keep your eyes out. Even this one, it looks like a, this is a tiki mug, right? Monk tiki hermit crab mug. So it looks like, what is that? But anyway, I'm not the tiki mug person. That's Jason. We'll have to get Jason to talk about that. Okay, so definitely something to keep an eye out for. Again, I will link my videos. I'm going to pull these down. Like I said, I'm going to pull these two down, put them together, and, and re-upload them. Um, so I have a video about sh shipping mugs and then another one kind of about my whole process. And let's see. Oh, yeah, for sure, rope and reseller. Yeah, I talked a little bit about that earlier. Like, don't just buy every mug that you see out there, for sure. You know, this is kind of my rule of thumb. Keep an eye out for far side. Yeah, far side and the um can we talk about far side? What was the other one? There's another one that's like far side. I can't think of what it's called now. Oh uh, gosh. What is it called? There's another one that does those comics that are kind of like the far side, but I can't think of what they're called. And it's the same, yeah. Okay. So thanks so much you guys for coming to hang out. Definitely um, keep an eye out for some mugs that can sell and do well for a good profit. If you feel like you can sell it for $14.99, pick it up for a buck or less, then you're looking at, you know, $10, $11 profit. So it's definitely worth worth picking up. So I've got quite a few still in my workroom that I need to list. So hopefully this will get my self into gear to get these photographed and listed and sold because that's the main thing right here, selling them. Okay, again, thanks so much, you guys. And thank you again for hanging out. And go down there again and hit that like button hit the thumbs up, leave a comment down below. If you've got a mug that you like selling or ones that you think people should keep their eyes out for, leave a comment down below and check out the comment section because I learn things in the comment section all the time. So I'm sure you will too. So, so again, I would love to have you subscribe. If you are not subscribed, hit that bell so you can hang out with us when I go live and I will see you guys next time. Thanks a lot, everybody. Bye.